I'm trying to go look at the Christmas lights and this is where I am. I don't know if you guys can see but like do you see this scary ass alleyway? Google Maps is telling me to go up. I'm literally gonna run. What the fuck this is the scariest thing ever. Oh my god, why are they telling me to go up these alleyways? But it's okay. I'm fine and I'm good. So welcome to my room. Um, this is the overview of everything. Um, let's start here, which I have these two closets. Okay. So this is kind of like mostly inventory. I have a ton of like wool sweaters that I'm like selling. I have my coats and jackets over here. Oh snap, I didn't even know I had this here. I have my coats, jackets here, a few purses here. I put things I want to donate and then when it's full, I'll bring it to Goodwill. At the bottom, I have some more inventory. It's kind of messy right now. Here's an umbrella. I have like a ton of umbrellas over there. I keep my shopping bags. Ugh. I keep my shopping bags down here. I have a book full of boxes, packaging and inventory is on the side. I have like home DIY, like a hammer, cleaning stuff on this side. I have on the door, I have my towel. My nails look like trash. I have a towel and a bag here that I never used. Uh, my nails look so bad, so I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to point too much. On top, I have some linens, towels. Over here, I have like, you know, pads, soaps, toothpaste. On top, I have more inventory because, like I said, it's mostly inventory for this closet. That's what I wanted to do. So, like, heavier things I will like ha hang up in here rather than folding them and then like up there i obviously fold them those are like sweaters heavy stuff okay so that's the first closet the bottom of the second closet i'm not going to show you guys the bottom of the second closet i'm not going to show you guys because it's really messy but i have like my laundry and stuff down there sorry for my nails it's really bad um so here's my closet this is all my stuff i have like pants over here, it's pretty color coordinated. I don't know if you could tell. This isn't everything. I have like a bag of bag of laundry below. So this isn't everything, but usually you could tell if it's color coordinated a little bit more than this. Um, but yeah, I have pants over here, you know, going from darks to lights. And I we have some oranges. Um, what's that color? um here i have some maxi skirts and then going for maxi skirts i have like mini skirts which i have obviously have a few more mini skirts so here are two black ones i have one white one some shorts some white shorts and then i just have like some tops this is in the wrong section actually it's kind of heavy knit let's put that like over here but yeah then we have some like tops crop tops mostly here we have like more long sleeve color tops here in this section right here is all dresses a lot of these i haven't even worn but it's okay it's fine um like this one actually i wear that once that one one's too but yeah you can't even see because they're dark but my dresses going from colors to like grays and i have some blacks here um and then i have a brown some browns and i go into brown sweaters over here white sweaters and then we have some black sweaters and 
grave right back there. Up here on this shelf, I have like house clothes. This like stuff that I wear in the house, which is like pretty much what I wear all the time. Then I have like two bins up here. This one has like extra, just like bathing suits. Um, I have like a few like um, body lotions and stuff in there. At least like minuscule stuff. That's empty. Um, that is just like a few heavier items that couldn't fit here because like I said, I have a bag of laundry below that I am not gonna fold because I'm moving. So I'm just gonna throw everything together. But yeah, some more sweaters and I have like a pack of hair that I had nowhere to put. So I just put it up there. And then this empty basket that I'm just gonna leave empty and it's been empty uh, because I'm moving. So like obviously I'll just figure out what to put in there when I get there. And then I have this like, and then I have this like little hook that I actually bought for my mom's house shortly before I moved and I never en ended up hanging it. Still haven't hung it up. I have it here. Sometimes I like put stuff because it doesn't go anywhere because it's still on the cardboard and I just stick it in there. Um, but yeah, that's useful. Those are just two closet in my room. Okay, so what's next? Next besides the closet, we have a mirror. So this is what I look like today. Well, right now, because it's actually really cold. Um, well, supposed to be. So I'm going to put on my clothes, but a mirror. Let's go to the side, which you can see. Um, a garbage pan. <laughs> I got that from Target. Um, and here I have a ton of this, like, storage unit I got off of Amazon. These little bins are also from Amazon. They were, like, 3 for $30. Um, and in here, I just have like inventory, so I have them like marked, you know, for inventory. So, literally, it's just filled with inventory. And then, this middle section here is like has like hanging. This is all actually, no, some of this stuff was actually stuff that I was gonna do for a haul, but some of them is also just inventory. Sorry, just smacked you guys at the door just now. So, that's mostly inventory. More inventory up here um so in here i have a few of just like my i don't know self-care stuff we have lotion coconut oil hair stuff q-tips things for nails like we have some more stuff back there sorry there's like like this hanging down from that looks crazy but yeah so back here we have like like cotton buds, lotions, face mask. I have some extra makeup brushes in there. Um, down here I have like wigs that I've been sent. Um, and just their boxes. And then below I have like a little electronic section. But there's nothing in. This is just like boxes that I'm saving because honestly I intended to put the items that belonged in these boxes back in the boxes. Never did so probably you'll throw those away. But after I move because they'll be useful to put them in while I'm moving. And then this section, I feel like I should have stayed on that wall before I got over here. So this is just really random. I This is like my candle graveyard. I just like threw away a few candles. So this is like my candle graveyard. I have like some baking soda hair because it needs to, I don't want to spill. This is really random right there. Here I have like some snacks in here because i'm super anti-social and sometimes i just don't want to leave my room so like i just have like snacks in there um here i have makeup case clearly makeup palettes and then like adult coloring book which is really cool i'm gonna show you guys um it's, this one's an enchanted forest one i got this from oh i got it from target i thought i got it from amazon but i got it from target clearly 20 percent off and yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the first page I did. Um, I wasn't aware that the markers I bought would leak through, but it's obviously leaked through from the other side. Um, this was actually inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. It's not the exact same color I saw, but they did something similar um, for a drawing they did or something. So that is one of them that I did. Another one, I'm just like showing you guys my coloring book um i actually live with a family here so one day we were babysitting 
and I, I was babysitting um, and I colored this page and she was coloring this page. It's very vibrant. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my coloring book. Really, really, really cute. I have like some labeled that I want to like do. That's K, even though it looks like an X, X it's actually a K. Like, just in case, like, I color with other people. Like, those pages are, like, off limits, basically. So, that's my adult coloring book. Really, really nice. Love that. Um, and then I have, like, a little catalog. This is actually my desk. And I just put it here to clean my desk off. I have, like, a little toy catalog. I love looking through these. It reminds me of, like, when I was younger. So I just find that very fun to look at. In Christmas time under here, I literally just have like five, not files, but just like paper, journals, book, notebooks, you know, stuff that I would look back on or may need to grab. I should know, just like documents and files and stuff. Um, so here's my desk. So this is my desk. I think we got this from Wayfair. As you can see, this little portion right here i made a mistake and i put it on backwards it's supposed to be white i said i would paint it but you know one day um but overall this is my desk empty roll of paper i will use the last one because we don't waste shit around here oh also this little thing here was from this like really cheap store in flatbush called bobby's there's supposed to be one more here but i don't have enough of these I could have swore I ordered some on Amazon, but I don't know if I ever did or if I got them. It's like a little rusty here, so let's ignore that. But um, anyhow, packages. I have packages for today. Here I have my Pride and Joy, which is like my little nail polish collection. Most of these are from Urban Outfitters. Um, and then we have like some meniscus ones here, but I love Urban Outfitters nail polish. Um, some lashes, clearly because of the shape and they also have like really pretty colors Ugh. then i got this like little holder thing from home goods then i put two temp tacks here for keys one is for this house keys and this is for my mom's house which is in my bag right now headband for my sister i have a lighter here because um clearly i have well i forgot to show you but i have two candles over there so i always have candles right there and that's where i light them because i figure you know, I won't set my place on fire if it's, like, really far away from everything else. It's usually, like, a little bit further from the wall also. But, like, candles. Light candles. Obviously, candle collection. Um, and then I, I have just, like, some lotion. These are both gifts. This one's for my boyfriend last Valentine's Day. He got me this. It's actually done. But I like the bottle a lot. And I plan on refilling it um possibly vitamins and then i have like some stuff here like i have a vision board and just like planning um in my next place i really want to like do like a cork board don't look at this because all of this is kind of relevant i need to finish that and i have this here because my brother i mean my brother my boyfriend got me this bracelet for my birthday i believe it was or anniversary i think it was my birthday yes he got it for my birthday and the box is in here and i thought the bag was really nice and then i also bought some jewelry and it came in this box so i like keep like little jewelry in there and i just think it's really cute like you know for the sun lovers which is very true and then over here is kind of just like random this is where i put my packages when i have income and packages i'll just like throw them over here my printer essential because i do business here i have more inventory just stacked up i have mail purses here moving on to the right is where i have my bed it's usually not made up like this i usually have this cover this is what i cover up with and it's usually just balled up my bed so i did this for you guys um but first i have oops first i have this ottoman here um it is from amazon i have inventory inside there i thought that was a very useful way to create space for inventory and not like make it look cluttery i have a towel there because i like to eat on my bed and i don't want my bed to get messy and i need it there also for when i do my makeup 
right here on this corner because I like to do my makeup here. Clearly, you can see this like my getting ready station. I have a makeup palette, some coconut oil always on hand, hand sanitizer, coin jar. This I actually got from, I think, maybe Dollar Tree, I think. Um, then I got this, my flat iron. I also have some other beauty stuff, like more makeup in here, flat irons, hair stuff, just like sat in this Target bag. I was gonna get like a basket to put here, but we'll see, maybe I will use that in my next place if I don't have a med medicine cabinet, I don't know. But anyway, I have a mirror. It's nice, it has this little compartment. I put like tweezers, clearly in there clip. Always have like lip balm by my bed, even though my lips are always freaking dry. Um, clearly it's like paint is chipped on this windowsill, but I said I was gonna cover it when I first got here and now I'm leaving and I still haven't covered it. So clearly that's not gonna happen. I have makeup brushes in this like little pencil holder that I was using that earlier as like a heat protectant. I have a fan over here, a window guard because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I thought that was very convenient to just put it next to my bed. Can't really, really see it much. Um, oh, hey, there's me. Hi. Okay, so I, this is my favorite part of the room. It's this huge window. I really wanted to have my bed next to the window. Windows have always been my thing. I love just like sitting out and looking in the window. And this is like a front facing window. So I get to like people watch and stuff. And that's a college, but because of coronavirus, it's been closed the entire time I've been here. So yeah, that's that. Love this right here. This is like the main part of this room. I love it so much. And it has these like really nice shades. Let me show you how they work. All you do is like pull them down and i just thought that was really cool i think the next place i've been going to is going to be a basement place room tour empty room tour coming um it's going to be a basement space so i don't really know how the windows are going to go i'm actually going to viewing right now after i'm done filming this i have a little nail right there um how i always kept my hat there um and then, as you can see, there's some little drawings on the wall from the kids that live here, apparently before I came here. But, I mean, like, I think that's kind of cute. Here's some more little drawings. He did say I could paint this place, but I did not, obviously. I thought it was per perfectly fine the way it was, except for this chip right there above my closets. Because it always showed up in my videos, but, yeah, I was like... It's fine. And then here, next, oh, also underneath my bed, I have some more storage in this like little bin for inventory. I'm going to buy more of these when I need more space for inventory. My home is literally for sleeping and to be able to work. So inventory. And then that leads us to the next place. We have a little outlet right there which is my studio workplace, work thingy. So it's literally, I got this like thing off of Amazon, I think it was like $30. I only use velvet hangers because I think they're really efficient and useful and just cute. And I like to use only black ones. So everything is like symmetrical, you know? And then I just, instead of a background, I'm gonna buy a background. Hopefully when I reach my next place, I plan on buying a background. But um, for now, I'm just using this white blanket from Five Below. It was obviously $5. That's so it works. And I have my ring light. I have a steamer always on hand. Some sweaters. I was actually, sometimes I hang clothes that I wear here. And then also clothes I have to take pictures of. I'll hang them here when I put them on hangers. If not in there, I'll hang them right here. Um, when I, when I do inventory, I have a lot of stuff, so both, sometimes I use both of them, like, I'll keep the ones, some here, and then some on that side, and then when I'm done, I'll put it on that side, or, you know, whatever, to, like, separate what I did from what I didn't do. Earmuffs, a dirty mask that I forgot to wash yesterday, sweater that I'm probably gonna wear today. I'm also selling this, but sometimes I wear them until I sell them. I need a picture of this one. Um, this one had a defect. So I need to, I don't know. I don't, I need, probably need a picture. 
was wearing this yesterday inventory um here's some more inventory shoes i've had these for ages i don't know why i even thrift for shoes because i hate taking inventory photos for shoes like seriously they just sit there for ages i need to stop buying them because i literally don't like taking pictures of them these were also meant to be inventory shoes but they are so cute they're actually mew mew if i'm saying that right they're actually mew mew can you guys see that Maybe you can, maybe not. Anyway, but they're like these like really cute wedges and I just have to wear them before I end up selling them. So um, yeah, and those might actually go for $80. I think I got them at the bins for like a couple of dollars. And then my Nikes and then I have like a row of my shoes. I have boots over here, some heels that I literally never wear. More boots that was actually supposed to be over there but I wear these often, so they're over here. Work shoes, I, I go to work now again, so, um, because I have my, um, my task manager for my business, so I go to work, so she handles everything while I'm at work, which works out amazing, and yeah, okay, so yeah, that's my room, I hope you enjoyed it, I've been putting this video up for so long, I literally woke up, organized, mop my floor, because my room has been looking crazy for the last couple months. I should clean my mirror. I'll do that right now. So we can have a clean exit. Let's have a clean exit and my camera lens is dirty for the clip. Ooh, so that is it for my room tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of dark over here. Hopefully I can get my full mirror situation better next time I move into a better lit space. Um, so yeah, that was it for this room tour. Um, I think this room is... I no idea how big this room is. I think I measured it and it was like 500 square feet. Um, not including closet space, but I could be wrong. Like, honestly, I'll try to measure it again and put it on the screen for you guys if I remember. But I think it's like 500, maybe 400 square feet. I don't remember. Whichever one. <laughs> Thanks for watching my room tour, my New York City room tour for 600. Well, basically seven hundred dollars okay so that's it for my room tour my nyc room tour hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in my next one um and stay tuned if you want more moving vlogs and moving content because i think that's gonna be coming because i am moving so be sure to keep up with that and subscribe so you know when those videos are up thanks for watching Fireworks show everywhere. <laughs> I can't handle fireworks. I'm leaving during fireworks. <laughs> oh.